Today's a good day. What can I say? <laughs> I had mentioned in an Instagram story that a pre-order that I made just did not work out. And everything happens for a reason because I will explain in the car, but I am on my way to go to Louis Vuitton. There's actually two freestanding Louis Vuittons, and or no, one freestanding and one inside of Bloomingdale's, but they're both in the same mall. And I'm actually, you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm excited because I've actually been thinking of a different version of the bag that I'm interested in. So this gives me the opportunity to get the bag that I really want. And I'll explain that further in the car. Um, but anyways, I want to show you guys really quick. I am wearing my Pichette Matisse East West in the bicolor black. And I'm doing that because, first of all, I love it. But it also might rain today. We shall see. I'm not too sure. And I definitely like to wear a carefree bag. And then I'm wearing this get ready cap. So, so cute. And then I'm trying to be a little bit more low key when it comes to my shoes. I have on my Gucci's. These are very, very cute. But yeah, a little bit low key just because the jeans are so long. By the way, I love these jeans. They're so comfy. I'll definitely link them within the description box below. They're amazing. So let's get to the car. I'm going to explain to you guys what happened with the whole pre-order situation. And we're going to go to the mall today and we are going to have a lot of fun. So let's do it. So the reason why I'm at the mall, the reason I'm taking you guys with me is because I had made a pre-order with Louis Vuitton for a specific bag. I mentioned it on my Instagram stories how much I wanted that bag. I mentioned in prior YouTube videos, I'm talking about the mini bum bag in the Empreinte Black. And basically what happened was I moved five months ago. And in that time, in that duration, I had updated my profile on the Louis Vuitton website in the My LV profile. And for whatever reason, I had it sent to my old address. And the weird thing is, is I had other items sent from the warehouse that I had ordered online sent to the correct address where I live now but yeah I thought I wanted that black mini on prompt bum bag but I was actually thinking about it for whatever reason I did not even use my mini bum bag very much during the winter I really didn't because I'm always reaching for black bags like this beautiful I showed you guys before Pochette Matisse East West this is really just such a stunning bag and I reach for black bags during the winter months but yeah for whatever reason in the spring and summer my mini bum bag I use it a lot during that time so I was thinking Thinking to myself, you know, I think maybe I would consider the cream or the turtle dove. I own the favorite bag in the Empreinte version, turtle dove, and it's absolutely gorgeous with the gold chain that it comes with. So it's thinking to myself, you know what, with the spring and summer months, I think I would prefer that over the black bag, but I'm not too sure. And the wonderful thing is this, I checked the Louis Vuitton website. The location where I am right now has two Louis Vuitton stores. It's As beautiful as that cream is, I don't think I'm going to go with it just because I did get the Cousin PM in the cream and I know how delicate it is and I don't think I really want to get another bag that's very, very delicate and non-carefree. I think I'd like to go with something that's definitely light, but I could still try it on and maybe it'll be beautiful enough to change my mind. I'm really excited and by the way, I want to tell you guys, I am wearing this Louis Vuitton Get Ready cap and I'm also wearing these Louis Vuitton earrings. It might look like it's overkill, but it's not because my hair covers it up, <laughs> but I love wearing the silver one on one side and then the gold on the other i just think it's really really cute i got that idea from uh the fendi circle earrings which, which is one of my favorite pairs of earrings that i own and another person just parked right next to me i just love that it's just so so comfy but that's okay but anyways i do hope that louis vuitton lets me film inside i did do an instagram story asking you guys which bags i should be considering because i would love to leave with something else like maybe i could get the mini bum bag in a specific color and maybe i could also leave with other items we shall see i'm not too sure i just love I don't know if you guys are like me, but do you ever get in that mood where you're just like, I want to go shopping and I want to go shopping now and I want it to be a really fun time. That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. And you know what? I thought to myself, why don't I just take you guys along with me because it's just funner that way. I also wanted to mention to you really, really quick. I did say in my Instagram stories that I'm going to be starting another channel. As a lot of you guys know, I do inspiration towards the end of my videos. So I decided I really felt called in my heart to start another YouTube channel. In my heart, I really just feel called to go in that direction and um, I'm really excited about doing that. I know I had mentioned it a while back, but really lately I've just felt very, very convicted in my heart to do that. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously I love luxury and I'll keep this channel for sure. I will. But when it comes to YouTube, when I talk inspiration, that's where I get my true happiness. So I definitely feel called in my heart from God. And if I feel a calling, I have to listen, I have to obey and I just know it's right. So I thought I'd mention that to you guys. Let's go inside right now. Let's see what happens and let's see if they let me film. Hopefully they will. <laughs> they better. That wouldn't be nice. All right, you guys, let's go. Let the fun begin. I am like a kid in a candy shop, a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> I think you guys can relate to that feeling. And I'm really hoping to find a bag that I would not have considered unless I came to the store and tried it on. Something that I just really thought that I wouldn't like and I do like because to me that's just the best experience when shopping at Louis Vuitton. I mean, I just find it to be amazing. And I was really, really drawn to this 
pair of shoes. I find them to be so beautiful and definitely my style. Those white pair are very, very cute, but I own quite a few other luxury shoes in that same exact style. So I passed on those and yeah, just looking around, trying to see if there's anything that I'm drawn to. And I came to the sneaker collection over here. And again, I just need to be more picky because I do own quite a few luxury shoes. By the way, I do have a luxury collection video coming up. Now, hold on, wait just a minute. I think I have found a bag that I may have judged falsely and I think I like. Do I like? I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to definitely consider that. So of course, after trying that on, I had to see what fit inside. I put in my phone, a packed mini pochette. And really my main necessities are those two items along with a card holder and a four key holder. And I could tell all items would definitely fit. I was really impressed by that bag. Now I get to try on the mini bum bag and the turtle dove, which I intended to do when I came to the store. And I am more impressed than I thought I would be. Decisions, decisions, they are hard. Let me know I what like you want to do. I think I like If you want to order both the bags or order one of the bags, that's totally fine. Do you know how much these sunglasses are? Let me check for you. So I just left the main boutique store and headed over to Bloomingdale's right now. And I'm really surprised by how much I like that vanity clutch. What was going on with that? My goodness, it was so beautiful. And it fits so much more when I saw the picture. That's why I always say, you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a bag by a picture. There goes Gucci right here. Maybe I'll have to go in there too. But you really can't because, uh, yeah, I had seen the picture and I thought that it was very, very small. But I'm shocked. It fit my packed mini pochette. It fit my phone. And there was room for more. So the only problem was this. With the mini bum bag and also that vanity, I could definitely tell they had been tried on a lot. And the thing is, I like to buy new because when I buy new, it's new. But when I don't feel like it's new, it's not new. So whatever direction I go in, I'm gonna have to order it from the store to be shipped to me. But I'm on my way to Bloomingdale's right now. I'm actually here. So let's see what other bags they have to offer. What do we have here? What do we have here? <laughs> Before I came to the mall, I'd done an Instagram story asking you guys which new release bags I should try on. And a lot of you suggested that one right there. It's the newly released Around Me PM. So I asked to see it and I was very impressed. I did not think I would be. The hard top, I did not think I would like. I did. The magnetic closure, I didn't think I would like. And I did. And I really like the back pocket, which is that reverse monogram. So, so pretty. So I tried it on, was very, very impressed. And what I was most impressed by was how it hugged my body. I have the Boat supposed to Play MM, which is very similar looking to this one, but I do find it unique enough, this one, to buy it because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I had the opportunity to try on the Carriol PM and the Emprunt, which I've been meaning to do for a very long time. The leather is so soft, so supple, and what I really appreciated about this bag was the fact that it actually stayed on my shoulder when wearing it over the shoulder. That's a huge deal for me. And then I had the opportunity to try on the mini bum bag. You know what? I've only been waiting for this black version for about six months, something like that. <laughs> and I thought I had my mind made up. I thought I wanted a lighter colored bummy until I tried this one on. And then I thought to myself, oh my goodness, how am I going to make this decision? I decided to try on the cream version. Obviously, I would not wear it at this length, but you know what? I gave it a lot of thought. It was a long day, but I'm very happy to say I came to the conclusion as to what I wanted to get. And I'm very, very happy with my decisions. Yay, I am back home now. Today was a long day. It was a fun day. And I thank you guys so much for joining me. I definitely have items here to show what a wonderful day it was. Now I do have another item that I did order because the bag that I tried on, unfortunately was missing the plastic on the hardware. And when I buy a bag new from Louis Vuitton, I really like to feel like it's a new bag from Louis Vuitton. So fortunately my client advisor was kind enough to order it through Louis Vuitton. So I have unboxings, plural unboxings coming up in the very near future, next few days. I cannot wait to show you what those items are. I mentioned to you earlier today that I plan on starting another channel. I'd actually said that a little while ago in another YouTube video, but I'm definitely doing it within the very near future. I, for those of you that are on Instagram, I had given you some options as to what you think that channel name should be. I decided on one and I'm definitely excited to tell you guys in my next video what that channel name is. And I'm equally excited to tell you when that first upload will be. Now I have to say this, if you are watching right now towards the end of the video, most likely you do watch my inspirational messages. Some might wonder why do I do them towards the end of my videos? The answer is quite simple. I feel called in my heart to do so. I feel there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. I have a very deep spirit and any type of knowledge, information that I can share to help anybody, it really does fulfill my soul. So I definitely feel that calling on my life to start that YouTube channel. And for any of you guys that do like my messages, I'll still be incorporating them on this channel. I'll just be starting another channel to really elaborate on those subjects. I'm going to give a quick message right now, just because I feel compelled to do so. And the title of this brief message is going to be tomorrow 
is another day. Throughout the day, we all go through setbacks. We all face situations, people that can really tempt us to get off course in our thinking and even tempt us to go to a dark place of depression, anxiety, basically living in a state of mind that God does not want us to be living in. Whenever you do experience something that gets your spirit very, very down, you have to remember tomorrow is always another day. You also have to remember all the times in the past where you felt the exact same way and you really didn't feel that you would ever feel like yourself again, or you really didn't feel that you had the motivation to get things done that you really wanted to get done. It's very important to show yourself grace, compassion, and self-love. And in order to achieve that is to remember that tomorrow is always another day. Bad situations are not going to stay bad situations. When people hurt you in your life, it will not hurt you for the rest of your life. It's so important to keep the faith when it comes to your life and understand that whenever you have a setback, a negative thing that goes on with your life, it is not a sentence for the rest of your life to be living in misery, sadness, and anxiety. You really need to keep the correct perspective because that is where reality lies in your perception. And when you have the correct perception of life, you are going to go further. Some examples of incorrect perception would be thoughts like, I am not good enough. I cannot achieve this. These people hurt my feelings. The situation just was not good. I'm never going to get out of it. You have to turn those thoughts around and instead say, okay, this person hurt me, but I'm not going to let it get me down. I know I will get through it. I know I'm going to be just as happy as I've always been my entire life. And I'm not going to let this one situation weigh my spirit down. No, I'm not going to go down that route. I'm going to remind myself when I face hard days that tomorrow is always another day. The rest of your life doesn't depend on a temporary situation that's going on. The rest of your life is going to be determined by your faith in God, how close you stay to him and how much you are determined to live a very good, happy, healthy life that you so deserve to live. It's just too easy sometimes when we face hard situations to feel alone in that situation, to feel that no one else is going through that. When the reality of the situation is, yes, many people are going through very similar situations. You are not the only one. Remember, the light of God exists within you. You are made in Jesus's image. You literally have his DNA running in your blood, which means that no force that comes against you could ever compare to the light that exists within you because that light Light is so strong that it will always overshadow any negativity that ever tries to bombard your thought life. I think we've all heard that saying, this too shall pass. Isn't that so true? Any negative situation that you ever face will pass. It is a temporary thing. It is not a life sentence. God is the only being that will never ever let you down. He will never betray you. He will never hurt you. He will never forsake you. He is your number one to have by your side in this life. And when you have him with him in your life, you'll be able to conquer those negative situations so much better than if you didn't have a very active relationship with him. So the next time you feel very, very defeated, very, very sad, very, very hurt by a situation or person, just remember tomorrow is another day. This too shall pass. It really is such a temporary, key word, temporary thing that will pass. So hopefully today you're having a good day, but in case you are not, remember tomorrow is another day. It's a fresh new start. And the wonderful thing is there will be another tomorrow after that, another tomorrow after that. We always get a break new start. So that's what I have to say on that topic of tomorrow is another day. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on that topic, any comments or questions on the new channel, I'll be starting very, very soon or any comments or questions on the new items I received. Any guesses on which bags I decided to go with? It's really quite interesting because the items that I did get, I really did not see myself getting, not in the least bit. So I cannot wait to show you guys what those items are. Next video again is going to be unboxing video. I might have to spread it out into two videos just because I did buy three items and of course I am waiting on one. But I do want to let you guys know that Brownie the Bunny, my baby bunny Brownie, did tell me, Mommy, I miss my friends. I want to be in your next video. So little Brownie, my little baby bunny, is definitely going to make an appearance in that unboxing video. He's very excited about it. So if you did make it to the end of this video, of course, like always, I greatly thank you. Until my next, obviously, you guys know I'm very, very excited about. You guys take care, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.